Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert effects using keyboard shortcuts in Reaper. Now, normally, if you want to add effects to a track, I have a project in front of me here. Here's my vocal track, and I want to add effects on the track. You go to the Effects button and choose your effect from here. But if we use keyboard shortcuts, we don't have to do this. We can assign them to each plugin and trigger them that easily. So let's go to the Reaper ones right here. Let's say I wanted to put a gate on this track. We can go to Regate right here, right click it, and choose the option Create Shortcut. I'm going to use Control G for gate. But of course, you can use any keystroke that you want. Let's add a few more. For my compressor, Recomp, right click. I'm going to use Control C. And then for the EQ, I'm going to use Control Q. Now, if you notice, we can't see the keystrokes assigned unless we do this. Go down here and right click. Go to Show an Effects List and choose Effect Shortcuts. And that creates a column over here where we can see the shortcuts assigned to each plugin. I have Control G for my gate, Control Q for EQ, and Control C for Recomp. And of course, you can do as many as you want. So now, if I want to assign a gate to my vocal, just select the track, hit that keystroke. And it puts a gate on that track. If you want to add a compressor, hit that keystroke. It adds a compressor right after the gate. And an EQ, it adds the EQ after the compressor. So every time we choose it, it inserts another plugin of that type. Now, if we don't want the plugin to open automatically when we add it, we can change a preference. Let's go to our preferences. And let's go down to plugins and unselect this option right here. Auto open effects windows after quick add. If we turn this off, let's remove the plugins from this track. Now, if I add it with the keystroke, it still adds it, but it doesn't automatically open up. We could see it here, but every time we add them, the plugin window is not going to open. Let's add a compressor, an EQ. We're not going to see them unless we open the effects window, like that, which makes a lot of sense if we want to add them to multiple tracks. So if I wanted to add it to all my background vocals right here, hit the keystroke, the effects will be added to all the selected tracks. And turning off that preference is also very helpful in the mixer. Here's my vocal track. I could just select it, hit that keystroke for a gate, shows up right here, compressor, and my EQ. And they won't open up automatically when we turn that preference off. But I'm going to put it back on for now. And I want to show you another one that's off by default Auto Float newly created effects windows. If we turn this on, let's clear this. And put the plugin on the selected track. It's going to add it and open it, but to a floating window without that sidebar over here. Add a compressor, add the EQ, and they open up in floating windows instead of windows like this, where we have the sidebar right here. So if you prefer that, just turn on this option right here. I'm going to turn it off for now. now. I should also mention we don't have to put the plugins on the track. We could also put plugins on our items or as take effects. So let's say I wanted to add an effect to this section right here by splitting it and just add it to this piece. Instead of right clicking and going down here to show effects chain on active take, we can just hit the keystroke. 
And it's going to add that effect just to this item or this take. See, so there's a gate right here or a compressor or an EQ. And they all show up just for this item. And we can clear them right here. So they work on items or takes the same way as the tracks, just using keyboard shortcuts. And we could also assign keyboard shortcuts to effects chains. Let's go back here under my effects chains. And I have one here for vocals, male vocal. If I double click it, we could see I have some filters, a compressor, and an EQ. They all have their settings already saved. Let's say I like this and I want to use this again. So it's already saved as an effects chain, but we can apply that with a keyboard shortcut. So let's clear it from here, open it back up, go to my effects chains, and just right click on this effects chain. And we can assign a shortcut right here. I'm going to use Control M for male vocal. And now I can assign that effects chain to this track just by selecting it and hitting that keystroke. And it automatically opens up with all three plugins with all their settings recalled. So it's a great way of recalling the presets with our effects. In fact, we could save effects chains with just one plugin because it'll save the preset with it. Let me give you an example. Let's clear this. Let's add an EQ to it. Let's set it up with some top end, pull out some mud, add some mids. Let's say we like the setting and want to use it again. Just select this, right click it, go to effects chains, and save selected effects as a chain. Then we can name it Perfect EQ. And let's clear this, open it back up. In my effects chains, here's that setting Perfect EQ. Right click it, create shortcut. I'll use Control P. And again, I could just select this track, hit that keystroke, and it opens up just that one plugin, but with my preset already there. So it's a great way of saving presets with multiple effects or even just one because it recalls the settings along with the plugin. Another great example that I use all the time is if I'm editing my vocal and there's some low end rumble on different spots. Let's say right over here, I want to separate it and roll off the low end just for this piece. I could open my EQ, remove all the bands except for one, make it a high pass, and just roll off the low end right about there. Then I could save this as an effects chain. I'll name it low end rumble. And again, let's remove it. If I want to put it on this piece, go over here, assign the effects chain for low end rumble to be control L. And now as I go from section to section, I can just hit that keystroke. And this high pass filter will only be applied to this item right here or this take. Let's say there's another section over here. Just split it, hit that keystroke, and I can very quickly remove the low end rumble with the high pass filter just for this piece. So it's very useful for just adding effects to little pieces or just for sections. But it's also very useful for selecting tracks and adding effects with just one keyboard shortcut. We're doing the same thing with multiple tracks. And all these tracks will have the effects chain being applied. So that's pretty much it. That's inserting effects using keyboard shortcuts in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.